Yo, what's good? It's Boston's heavy hitter, Kid Fob. And you're watching On The Spot on Exposed TV. Well, drug abuse Yeah, she's taking that Molly Percocet. Thought of her scurvy from Mezzazine. I've been sipping this syrup, can't feel my legs. So, bro, hurry up, just get this bread. Oh, oh, oh. Can't get rid of this paint job, I take any meds. No, no, eh. Where are you from? I'm from South End, Boston, Massachusetts. You know what I'm saying? I was basically born there. Stayed there for some time, and after that, uh, mom shipped me out because I was being a bad kid. How did you get your name? When I came back to the States, I only had to do one year of high school. Basically, I came back as a senior. A lot of things that people was calling me since I came from overseas was you know, like, yo, you're a fob, coming from Africa, you're a fob, you're a fob. So I just ran with that. People say I got a baby face. I added the kid to it, kid fob. One thing you want people to know about you. I'm a very religious person. I put God first in everything I do. I feel like he gave me a purpose to fulfill. And that's what I'm fulfilling right now through this music. Making people feel happy, making people feel good. Making you not feel sad, you watching this right now. Smash a pass, young Miami is sweetie. <laughs> Yo, shoot, that's a hard one. I mean, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna smash young Miami cause she was hanging with Diddy, I don't know. And if I hit sweetie too, like them food combos, I don't know how her stomach gonna be sounding. Dang. I don't know. I might just have to say it slow for both of them. I ain't about it. What's your favorite song you made so far? Mm, let me see, that's a good question. My favorite song I made so far was probably Going Down. I made that on the project, my first mixtape that I made. Um, yeah, I should go stream that, check it out. Very good song. What inspired you to do music? Uh, Dang, that's another good question too. Well, basically, I've really just been listening to hip hop for not too long. You know, like I said, I'm a fob, so I just really started knowing about music. But when I came back to the States from being in Africa, I was just like listening to all of the hip hop. I was messing with all of it. But the people I look up to in my music is like Travis Scott, Future, Young Thug, Justin Bieber. So go to pickup line. Like, I don't even be going up to a lot of females like that, but like she got to look like the one. But if she's the one, I'ma really pull up to her. I'ma look at her and really just be like, well, I just wanted to let you know that you look hella bad, like for real. Like I'm trying to get to know you. And that works every time. I look good, so I don't gotta do too much. One goal you want to accomplish this year? Let me see, that's a good question. I wanna see if I can get like, well, I won't, let me not even do like end of this year, like the next year, like 2025. I wanna see if I can make it onto like a festival lineup. So like some type of Rolling Loud, Lyrical Lemonade, something like that. I feel like that'd be like a good a good accomplishment for me. Drake or Kendrick? Oh my gosh, y'all trying to force it on me. Um, dang, bruh. Yo, I can't even do that. I mean, I wanna work with both of these niggas, but dang, I mean, I'ma have to go with Kendrick, my bad. Please still, please still rob me after this, but yeah, I'ma go with Kendrick. Do you prefer BBL or natural? Yeah, you you gotta go natural all the way, man. These girls think we want BBLs, man, but natural, you good. You look good. You know, women should be proud of their body, you feel me? I mess with natural. Yo, what's good? It's Kiff Off, and I just got put on the spot.